So what have you learned, Ryan? Well, Anderson, uh, basically this is a worst case scenario for Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Two more senators in just the last 15 minutes have announced that they also cannot support the Senate version of health care reform. That is Senator Jerry Moran of Kansas and Senator Mike Lee of Utah. That brings the number of four Republican senators who say they cannot support this bill. That is not enough for Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to even get this bill to the floor, much less get it passed. He needs at least 50 votes. This would mean that there are four senators of the 52 unwilling to support the bill. So essentially, at this point, this bill is dead. And Anderson, I also want to point out the language in these statements put out by Moran and Lee. They don't appear to be in a negotiating mood. In fact, they are very, very disappointed with the progress of this bill. In fact, uh, Jerry Moran suggesting that they just need to start fresh, essentially start from scratch. He says they need to open the legislative process and that he's not interesting and interested in supporting what he calls a stamp of approval for bad policy. Mike Lee in his statement said that the bill does not go far enough uh, to lower premiums for middle class families. So uh, Mitch McConnell has been struggling, as you know, Anderson, for the last several weeks to try and get these 50 votes right out of the gate with the second version of this health care bill. He lost two senators right away, Susan Collins of Maine and Rand Paul of Kentucky. Now with Moran and Lee out of the mix, those are four votes he had to have. He doesn't have them now. So at this point, it's, it's very difficult to see a path forward for this bill. And it comes, uh, Anderson, as you mentioned, as seven senators, most of them in the leadership of the Republican conference, are at the White House right now, presumably to come up with a strategy to hold on to those 50 votes. It looks as though at this point they will not be successful.